there are many types of people who may need to use the Paxton 10 software. It is important that there is a secure and flexible way of determining who can do what and who can see what. This is what software permissions are for. Software permissions are found in rules. There are several default permissions that have been set up for your convenience. People with system engineer permissions can do everything. The first person to log into a brand new Paxton 10 system is automatically assigned system engineer permissions. Supervisor permissions allow people to do everything except the functions related to the installation and professional maintenance of the system. Credential administrator permissions allow viewing of dashboards, reports and site plans, the addition of new people and assigning permissions and credentials. Read-only permissions allow viewing only of dashboards, reports, site plans and people. Events only permissions gives access to nothing other than the viewing of reports. In addition to the default software permission levels, you can create your own. We refer to these as custom software permissions. Use the control in the ribbon bar to add a new software permission. Give it a name. Here, you can select the people that will have this new permission. Under Software Elements, you can select exact permission levels for each element of the software. Full means that items can be viewed, created, edited and deleted. Read means that the items can only be viewed. Events only applies to people and devices and this specifies whether events associated with those people or devices can be viewed. Note that where you have a group structure, you can control software permissions right down to this level. This means that you have complete granular control over what system operators can do and see. Permission to view and edit the system settings can be determined using the Options software element. Permission to use the Paxton 10 software remotely can be determined using the Remote software element. For security purposes, software permissions can only be assigned to individuals, not groups of people. If you want to assign software permissions to a person, you can either go into the software permission and select the appropriate person, or you can go into their record and select the appropriate permission. Both methods achieve exactly the same outcome. Choose which way is most convenient for you. People can be assigned multiple software permissions. The resulting software permissions for any person is the sum of their individual permissions. Thanks for watching. For more information about Paxton 10, have a look at some of our other videos.